It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Shoot shout shoot for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, go on and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. Today, we are gonna be doing our first order on the the haul. This block is four and a half hours and we will receive a payment of 90.50 on our penis. Look, we are gonna learn and we are gonna earn. And if you hate, it ain't your concern, let's go. We are here to talk about the first package. All you gotta do is hit him with the scan ski so you can get these bins. She hit him with the scan ski. The terrible thing about this one is guess what guys? We going into an apartment build. The thing that I hate to do. Let's go in this joint, baby. Oh, I caught that dog. Look at these bins. Doggy, it's Hi. okay. What floor do you need? Uh, no. <laughs> hey, it's okay, You're doggy. Oh, it's sorry. okay. Is it okay that she's? No, it's okay. Right. <laughs> here, baby, to drop this joint off. You know, on the floor we need to be on. So we got to go here. And I've noticed on the uh, on the pictures, you have to take two pictures. You have to take. Oh, here, go right here. Matter of fact, right here. Uh, you have to take a picture of the package. Bam, number one. And then number two, you have to actually take a picture of the address, like the, the suite. Hit him with the photos. Let's go. So I was wrong, guys. Guess what? You actually have to take a picture of the address number two. So I have to take a picture of the package, the apartment number, and now when I get outside, I have to take a picture of the address number two, baby. They ain't playing no games. We about to do our thing. Let's go. We are back outside now, so I have to take a picture of that. I know, I know, I know. I stopped the video. I stopped the video because I know you have a question right now. Your question is, how do I sign up for VHO so I can get this dough? All you have to do is go to Google, type in VHO. Once you type in VHO, right under that is going to say drive with us. You're going to click that. Then you are going to put your full name. My name, Jerome Adams. Then after that, you're going to put your email address. Rome's house reviews at gmail.com. After you do that, they're gonna ask for your phone number. My phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine. And then, last but not least, they are gonna ask you for your zip card. You're gonna put them in. Then you're gonna hit submit. They're gonna ask you some personal information, your uh, social security number, your address, and all that stuff. You're gonna fill that out, and then you're gonna sign up. Now we just got approved. After you get approved, you're gonna be wondering, how do I get a route? This is what's gonna happen. At 6 p.m. the day before, uh, this is gonna happen right here. As you guys can see, they have all the routes right there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the route that's closest to your house, you're gonna click it, and then you're gonna hit request route. Now, just so you guys know, you don't have time really to be thinking about it and contemplating because within 20 to 30 seconds, all of them are gonna be gone. So, you have to move fast if you wanna get that can. I know you're wondering, the next question. The next question is, how many packages are you gonna have? On VHO, they do not tell you how many packages you're gonna have, but they do tell you how many cubic feet is gonna be. Uh, Y'all see the picture, baby. As you guys see, we have a list of all the deliveries in our area, and ours is highlighted in red. And if you look on the left of it where it says delivery, right after that it says 18 to 24 cubic feet. So, what that means is how much space is it gonna take up in your vehicle? This is what ours look like. Now that you have your route, and you know how many cubic feet it is, I'm gonna give you guys a tip. Just because you pick that city does not mean all of your deliveries is gonna be in that area. We literally only had our last delivery in that location. All of the rest of them led up to there, and that is the reason why I told you guys, pick one close to your home. It is now the next day, and it is time for us to go on our route. Look, our route starts at 820, but we can arrive 15 minutes early, so we can arrive at 8.05. We're gonna get there around 7.55, because guess why? Why, why are we gonna get to 7.55? Because there's gonna be a line for sure waiting outside. Now it's time to go inside the warehouse. We cruise and we get up to the warehouse. Uh, there's gonna be a person standing there, and they're gonna ask you, what is your route number? Uh, as you guys can see, circle in red, our route number is 
109. You're gonna tell them the route number and then they're gonna tell you exactly where to park. We parked at number 15. Now we pulled up to the parking spot. Guess what? They are gonna bring the packages out to you. If they are taking too long, you might wanna ask somebody for some help. After we get the packages, we are then gonna hit them with the scan, ski, so we can get these bands, G. Now we gotta hit them with the scan, ski. This is number six. We're gonna hit all of the packages with the scan, ski, but I'm gonna tell you guys this. As you are scanning, you are gonna write the number of packages it is. So if we scan and it say number 10, you're gonna write 10 on there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put 10 over here and you're gonna separate the packages in groups of 10. So we're gonna put one through 10 right here. We're gonna put 11 through 20 right here. Then we're gonna put 20 through 29 over here in different areas. So when it's time to load and get our pockets on swole, all you gotta do is uh, 29, 28, 27, 26. That's all you gotta do and make it real easy so you can go out and get the cheese, G. After you're done with everything, you're gonna tell them that you are done and you're gonna pull out and hit the roll and get your pockets on swole. Just like that, finally, finally, and let me fly away somewhere, someday. What y'all know about that? Comment below and let me know. This is our last stop. Hit them to photos. Let's go. Yeah, baby, we finally done. This route was four hours and 30 minutes. It took us four hours. Do I believe we could have done it faster? Absolutely. Why didn't we get it done faster? We didn't get it done faster because we had multiple hiccups and major every single one was at a apartment building. Guys, we may have an issue because it told us to go to the go to the back door and that door was locked, baby. So we go to the front door and the front door says, please go to the back for all deliveries. You can't get in either door. We're texting a customer right now. There's no possible way to get in this joint. I don't know what to do. Well, we made an executive decision and we're gonna leave it out here. Cause guess what? <coughs> where else, where do you think that UPS and everybody leave it? They have to leave it right here. That's the only thing that makes sense. You want that photo? And then hit with the photo again. Smack! Let's go. And this is the issue that I do have with the VHO app. Do I think it's a great app? Absolutely. Do I think I should go out there and get busy? Absolutely. But if you run into a store apartment, you're gonna have some problems, baby. Let me tell you the reason why you're gonna have some problems. Because when you get to the apartment building, you have to first get in, if you can get in. Look, I got lucky a few times, but sometimes I didn't get lucky. Once you get in, you actually have to go to the door, knock on the door, take a picture of the box, take a picture of the apartment number, then you have to go outside when you're leaving and take a picture of the apartment building number. That is what, hey, Vijo, you got to slow down with them pictures, baby. It's way too many pictures, and it takes way longer, baby. If I just hit them with the phone, smack, and then leave, sometimes I had to go to a house, take a picture of the box by the door, then walk all the way until I get to a mailbox and take a picture again. That's out of control. We are here to drop off order number six. Hit it with the scan, ski, so we can get these bands, G. Guess what? The thing about this one is bad is that we actually have to take a picture of the mailbox because that's where the numbers at, baby. So that's out of, they out of control. We about to get our pockets on the floor. That's what we about to do. It's actually a pretty nice day out here today. I had to put it on the edge because I don't want them to hit it with the door. Step back, photo, photo, photo time, smack. Um, now we have to go over here by the mailbox and take a picture of the number right here. Bingo, let's go. Y'all need to fix that because that's way too much stuff. But let me say this on the other hand, on their end, I do think that they are doing this to protect themselves to make sure that the customer got their items and the customer can't lie and say they didn't get their stuff. So that's what I think about that. And another thing, guess what? When you get to the house and you gotta hit them with all them 35,000 photos, if you take a photo and the phone does not recognize the address number, you literally have to type it in. So if you have one, two, three fake street, you hit it with the photo, you, you take the picture of the one, two, three, you still have to type in one, two, three, confirm. You gotta confirm it. Speaking of address, I got this here for you guys. Uh, Y'all see that? That's the map, baby. It got us one, two, three, one, five, six, seven, all over here, and then gotta go all the way down, then go all the way up and then come back down. This is the reason why you are gonna put all of the addresses in your own map and map it out yourself. I know it's gonna take you a little time, but it's gonna save you time in the long run because you do not wanna be going up zigzagging and going, you don't wanna be doing all that, baby. Now we're gonna get into something that I love about Beho. Beho, I love this. 
I love that you actually get to pull inside of a building. You do not have to worry about it snowing, raining, scorching hot. You get to go in there, hit them with the scan ski, and put your packages in order so you can get in order. Another thing that I love about it is you can actually take more than one route at a time. So you can get two routes, but, but, I'm gonna say but, but they cannot overlap each other. I'm gonna give you guys an example. If you have a route from eight to 10, you cannot take another route from nine to 11. You can't do that because they overlap each other. You have to take one from eight to 10 and then take the next one from 10 to 12. That's how you can prevail. Also, another thing that I love about VHO is you actually get to pick what city you are going to, baby. You might not do it at the whole route, but you're gonna end up in that city and we're gonna be dancing in the video like P. Diddy. And that's just it, baby. My honest review on VHO. Do I think y'all should go out there and get that dough? Absolutely. Go out there and get busy, baby. After you go get busy, comment below and let me know how your first or whatever order you on, how it went for you, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, go on and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. And lock in tomorrow because we can back to this bag. Why well, we can back to this bag? Because 2023 is big bag season. We're going to keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.